Hello everyone. Uh, hello and welcome back to Long Live the Cream. Uh, yes, it's recording. Good. Good, good. So, let us load our game. Cream Wall the second, because we died last time, as you may remember. And yes, let us continue. What? Let us look the skills we have here. Ability is good. Con conversation will be continued, I guess. Conversation. Ever find it? Mm. Court manners and public speaking. Mm, flattery two times this time, I think, because we can continue public speaking. Speaking at court manners because it's it can't go over the, over fifty if it's not twenty four. If every skull is twenty five, that's what I wanted to say. But I didn't. So yeah. Let's do it. Good time. You learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. You learn that flattering comments have the best effect when kept off. Gushing makes people feel awkward. You learn that it is always better to compliment people for their personality and their choices than their physical attributes. You have unlocked the view of Your Highness, my sympathies for you are lost. Even after all these years, I sometimes regret that my own mother will never be coming back. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Axionite occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. I know there's been some problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. To get there, occupy him with Father Marie. I don't know anything about the military, I don't want to fight. There must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats for Ixion and try to come to some arrangements. Thank you, Your Highness. If I might say so, you are looking particularly lovely to stay. I hope you will think for me. Is he flirting with me? He is almost as old as my father. <laughs> well, I want to do something that makes me angry and willful. <laughs> well, that makes me lone, less lonely. I will do this for now. You take the court for a few games of tennis. Feel the thrill of competition. Ah, look how happy she is. That is how I like it when she's Because why shouldn't I like it when she's happy? Don't ask me. Well, no, cancel. God damn it. We will continue with the conversation. You read collections of famous historical speeches and practice saying them in convincingly dramatic fashion. You borrow the menu for an upcoming banquet and practice delivering it as a, it as a dramatic speech to an audience of confused chamber minds. Ah, yeah. Well, could have known that if she finds a bonus. I never looked there, I guess. But now I know what the bonus is. Visual elements are the best, or are best, to flatter on first meetings. They are expected to be noticed right away. If you spend more time with someone, suddenly complimenting the attire will ring pause. Small personal details help make the recipient with recipient. Of your flattery feel that you have truly noticed them, which is always better than you simply. Ah, oh, nice you look. <laughs> <laughs> the representative from Exodus here. Be careful, no one wants to give up prizes to so take a born. You have the full support of my sister myself, Your Highness. <laughs> Let's get almost this over with. Your Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I'm sure we can come to an end. Am I stable agreement? Let Biogonus be Biogonus. No, we will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us and you will transfer the rings. The rights to this little province. We can be good enough for us again without any last being lost. Well, <laughs> execute him. I will offer him money. That is not acceptable. All the land north of the river belongs to us. We are willing to offer some payment in exchange for the inconvenience you have suffered, but nothing more. 
I believe we could settle the matter for 8,000 golden lassie. That's an awful lot of money. But I will agree. Very well. Negotiating like this is stressful. So how cheerful makes us this like what let me well I will do something. I want to be angry again. Well but I need something that makes me both work. Both work and angry. But there's nothing that makes me both work. It makes me like, well, let's do this. You stick out of the castle and you have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father will like it if he finds out. Well, let's see. We will continue with compensation because I'm using it. And we have a new outfit, I So. Damn. Now, let's do public speaking, speaking and court manners. Done. You'll learn about the page techniques and practice with them by trying to convince the castle gunner why a new phone would be a good idea. Your teacher assigns you to create and memorize a short speech of your own. Your teacher assigns, assigns you to read about a subject, memorize a few good phrases for the beginning and ending of a speech, and then make up the rest on the spot. You memorize the correct title for every servant in the castle, treating servants with speed. Respects and ensures good service. Damn it. Uh, I got another my tongue. <coughs> to directly challenge someone's honor is to declare war. Never make a public accusation of cowardice, treason, infidelity, or murder unless you are prepared to face mortal enemies. And on that note, you study the etiquette of Duran. As a monarch, you are expected to embody the virtues of honesty, bravery, and generosity. You should always offer to aid those in need. Wherever those you aid, personally, are expected to give you their utmost loyalty, even unto death. There are reports that Kay Thong has been said at leaving the North Forest. What's a Kay Thong? A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. Eek! Several disappearances on certain canaries are already thought to be a of this creature. What do we do? Should we say to us? The traditional policy and stray beasts is how people return to the house and stay there. Hunters are, made, are now made batch for such creatures. We would only make it angry and waste more hearts. So we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. Oh, that is depressing, of course. Like, oh, let them die because in 50 years they are dead anyway. <laughs> well, who cares? Um, I want to be angry, angry and willful. Wait, you sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants fall into dungeons, petty thieves and troublemakers. Now suffering in the dark, they obvious, obviously bad people. Seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. They must be better right way. Chop the head up. It's always a good way. I want to do military again and fighting because that was something uh, I really liked to do and it was useful, of course. But I will continue with compliments and flattery for now. Most people want to believe that they are successful and well liked more than they want to believe that they are handsome. Play to these beliefs and they will be inclined to enjoy your company even if they should know better. A certain class of dramatic personalities believes at least that they are ugly and empathy. Even if this is untrue, flattering their appearance and makes them pull away and mistrust you. Instead, compliments their intelligence. This tends to be their weakness. You study the forms of written address, how to issue and decline invitations, how to announce and depending visit, and how to correspond with the rulers of origin domains. You study the language of flowers and the secret meanings that can be communicated, communicated through the gift of a bouquet. Okay, there's a woman here to see you. She was a strong funding for our project. Thank you for seeing me, your royal highness. I, I come to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen is afflicted. By afflicted with disease can be broken for treatment. Well, yeah, I know that. We are not interested. 
in a hospital because hospitals who need them. God damn it, hospitals are so useless. Uh, I will do something that makes me more angry. Angry at all. Can I do military? What about con yeah, weapons? Because weapons again. Physical. Oh, I don't know. Physical. Well, I will do for one time a flattery. And then I will do the strategy. So, classes. Flattery and military. Strategy. Done. Most people want to believe that they are special and will react to hints that they are receiving slightly better treatments than others. However, two obvious favoritism will still resonate. Resentment, but only the way you enjoy it. The most reliable form of flattery is to convoy that you honestly like the target, enjoy spending time with them and with them to think well of you. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons and battle formations. You are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted to attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Your Highness, Miss Ladan dares to beg pardon, but she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Kara said, the Duchess of Mead. Is she alright? She is unharmed, we cocked the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her first spoon. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's justice, it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke me man's heart. Lied to her as they did when she went to see why he would come back. Said he gunned for a soldier when he never would. You weren't the only one either. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know what this, what this is all about. Either way, murder is a serious crime, but... Execute. As she is clearly guilty, her life is forfeit. She will be hanged in public as a deterrent to other criminals. You'll not have me- oh, I forgot that she- All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. In your contrast, you are unknown. The drop of her weapon will find you only a heavy golden ornament, which you hurl into her direction. The missile of fire flies wide and mark We off. Before you have a chance to do anything else, the personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. A lifeless body is- was bleeding in the cupboard. Get that out of here. Put it on display, so that everyone sees what happens to criminals. What about pressure? Is that the only thing I can do to get pressured? That is all I will talk to my brother. Dad, what happens to Mom's looming crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine. Let him with magic kill your mother. I don't want to. that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want. But for now, you're still a child. Well... I will do... Lumen this time. After I did... Strategy. Well... Strategy and logistics for now. Well, I want to do weapons again because weapons are really useful. And I don't want to die again. You learn about the types of the moments of food requirement, one army on the march, and how long they will remain edible. You s study the effects of battle stress on troops and how moral can turn the tide of combat. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivating and making soldiers who can trust and depend on each other. As you are walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound, and you look up to see an old flying robot. A single dry leaf flutters on the stealing. That's funny, I said also in natural, I guess I was wrong. Well, I will talk to Juliana. My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we just have to wait. There may not be the time to wait. This world is filled with dangers, and you will need the powers of the Lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you are bonded with the crystal. Well, what else am I supposed to do about it? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. 
you are the princess, you should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic actions. What drastic actions? What do you mean by drastic actions? I hope it doesn't come to that. Try to reach the crystal. If you can't, come and talk to me again. Well, I don't want to do just... But I need... Presents, I guess. Or... Well, accounting, but both are... Not that good to learn about. Yeah, you know? So I will just continue. That for you. Know? You study the kinds of equipment that soldiers need available, such as bedding, weapons, armor, medicine, and bandages, and the tools to repair anything damaged. You study different kinds of transport animals, wagons, sledges, ships, boats, and boats. Boats and boots. Go boats, boats, boat, whatever. You learn about how humans reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and the covering of weaknesses. You may know to all the barracks on the weekend. Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the us, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. It's green you will be expected to lead the procession and take part in a ceremonial planting. Possibly, possibly give you a speech. However, since you are not quite found, it is not required that it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, next? Outside of the castle, you are well, less well protected. If anyone means harm, you harm, think on it now and decide. Here's a letter for you as well. It's from Bryony, I went to school. She's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother's children let her come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Keaton has been acting strange. He lay in the shadows. She's bored and looking for a division. Well, I don't have any to suggest her. Well, I will go to the barracks. You are impressed by the discipline of the noble troops, but the responsibility for the rest is heavily in the shoes. So, approximately 10 batteries and a Jerry Cloud. Angry. Well, it's. Now I can do weapons, but I want to do naive strategy first. Now, I need to do weapons now, because we're going. I need powers to test. You learn about the variety of lance weapons, from the protestant to the spear to the halberd and glaive. You practice walking while carrying the long weapon, getting the feel for its size and weight, and learning to maneuver without banging into anything unintentionally. You learn the basic senses, grips, and positions of step and how to block a blow without crushing your fingers. The today is a session on planting a part of a sweat to the lady. We will be leading the part. If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment. If you lose you, there is no work. Have all you needed to parrot? I will parade and make a speech. I'm not afraid I'm going to be the best parrot leader ever. Not at all. You prepare your best friend, go on for occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. At the end of the road, you help the priests turn over the earth for a new tree to be planted. After the blessings are read, but you hold up your hands and call for silence so that you can speak. My affection is greetings to you all, and my thanks. What is the people that makes this so great? We are here today to celebrate the gifts of the God Lady. The promise of fertility and new birth. Winter always comes, but winter is followed by spring. Each of us faces hardships, but we grow back stronger than ever. Now is the time for new beginnings, and for my beginning is your queen. The words are met with great applause. Then procession regroups to return to the castle. Well, that was a good, good thing. Now I need something angry again. Let us go angry again. Still angry. Now we will do naval strategy and swords for now. I will continue for a long time. But I need to do naval strategy. You learn that the sea is not something you hold, it is something you travel across. Naval strategy ensures you free travel while denying it to your enemies. 
He practiced standard attacks and sweeps with a long step. Are you ready for the Grand War? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you. To see the Queen. You finished the dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. Looks so awesome. <laughs> all around the rich and powerful powers and their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Fail, 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 fail. Seeing yourself reflected in so many eyes might be going to be a way ahead. After a moment, you force yourself to come on, but you're sure they all seem you in sympathy. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and opens you his arms. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but a look is at the such sad. After this, you must choose your own brother. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Piddle and the three elevated sons, all near your reach. You look around the room at all your possible, possible spots, which is to say, everywhere. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want, and you will not be denied. I will continue. I'll do the same I did last time. You don't want everyone assuming that whoever you prefer is assuming to the marriage plan. So why not make your sure choice as ridiculous, ridiculous as possible? With that in mind, you approach the Duchess of Dutch. You admit to yourself that you were hoping such an outrageous act would cause her to lose some of her control. But she remains unruffled, at least the cause of shocked whispers around you as you take your place in the floor is gratifying. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, he steps like a part of you. Now, every move is a mystery. Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do and trip over your own feet. Oops. Between the dancers, it was time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sign their tiny bits. Bites and squeezy to food. You enter comfort comfortably with your peers, leaving a white word in every ear. You are all the music. Benyon, the Duke of Mary, taps the elegant villain, winning against the wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention, I believe you should offer our compliments to all lovely heads of clusters. Every words of wisdom guide us through our difficulties. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, we take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Grinnell, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only a month older than you, and due to final inherit control of a duchess soon. Or Adele, the youngest Dutch daughter of Duchess of Lila, and a fierce sportswoman. She has a few years ahead of you at school and the absolute terror of the ball fields. No, Brian, she has said, she had said, Parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together. The due consort clutching the Duchess crosses the Pacific assiduously tight. Strange that there's no sign of your arc of your cousins, so shouldn't they be here? The aunt and all are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come. Never been so close by. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family. Well, it had been better than last time because last time it was like this little fight which caused this little thing, this uh, way, it was called rebellion, I guess. <laughs> well, not that important at all, but you know, I don't like rebellions. I, I mean, who likes rebellions? Rebels, whatever. Let's continue with our skills in military and. Weapons. Wait, why did that? Maybe it's. Well, I will see what the rubble is hectored. But I need more swords. It's willful. I knew that. You study different kinds of ships. Their names, designs, and the number of crew needed for each. You study different kinds of ships. Their speed, maneuverability, and standard complement of weapons. You learn about their requirement for all civilized sailors. To rescue the crew of a sinking ship, even an enemy. You have unlocked any of it. Well, <laughs> it's not affected by anything, I guess. I guess it is affected by when I'm angry, but because I'm not angry, um, I'm, my angry bar is full, but my willful bar was 
full earlier, so I'm willful, not angry. So that's not affected by the angriness, <laughs> I guess. You take up a wooden sword of this work whips and stances. You wander downstairs to be with your father and talk about the latest events in the morning. You're moving with such an enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. You have to kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren, not a member of your circles. She is a bit more than the cage you see seen, part of all time. Ever been a friend, and yet not at all old as noble and girl. She has two minor titles, her husband and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? What a fair as she passes, that's heavy, eh? Well, I, will, I did that last time. But I will be shame her. You meet her eyes and imagine her mother's disapproving presence behind you. She noticed you stare, but only smiles at you ever so sweetly. Darling Elodie, I hope you feel well. Bye. Perhaps we will see more of each other in the future. She gives a little wave and exits. Once she can raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman, nothing more. She wants something more. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. You should be careful how you deal with people like so. You need to, the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything about you. I am paying attention to what's around me. No, you are not because you are not. Well, whatever. Treasure? Good thing. Let's do that. Yes, I know that. No, I'm angry. That is good. Now I can. Do weapons and military good, good, good. So let's continue. Well, I will entreat, I will do that at the time being. But for now, I will do swords and strategy. Swords and strategy. Done. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain. For both offense and defense, you study the power of ranged weapons, from arrows to strong fire and sand, and how the threat of such attacks can shift the enemy's, enemy's response. You study the use of cavalry in battle, as well as the costs and benefits of traveling with large animals. You practice low swings to move your blade to precisely mark targets, building up your muscle, muscles and control. You drill with a partner, attacking and blocking in careful time patterns. It is time. It's the time of you to decide any necessary adjustments to the world budget. The majority of the money we see is always popular, but there's always some room for description. Well, because I failed at accounting, or well, you don't understand all of this. I will keep it. I think that is as you wish. Let's do something cheerful, but lonely. Yes. I will continue with my current places. Then, you study the effects of a strong hierarchy on military organizations and the ability of troops to respond to changing situations. Communication across an army can be difficult, disrupting signals can lead to chaos. You study famous battles, the disasters and the mistakes which created them, and the turning points in larger conflicts, and why they made a difference. You practice moving with a blade. Let's charging and lunging. You practice using your blade to disarm opponents or shovel them backwards. Your skill in swords is now 50. 50. You may not increase the skill until your other weapon skills are 25 or higher. You are requested to send an agent. A man has been convicted to murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the aid, but requests to have a that he might be free. If you admit that you are killing your wife, why do you think I am going to set you free? Save me, your majesty, wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the power of magical bestias. They use me, they twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming, she tried to shake me, and the chains wrapped around her. I need a priestess to blast me and make me clean again. Demons that may protect people, is that even possible? I will imprison her. Whether they were demons or not, you still killed a woman, your wife. 
I won't forgive you for that. You will be imprisoned for the rest of your life. He opens his mouth to argue with further, but then he shall assume. Yes, your majesty. Well, can I do something dreaded and cheerful? Is that even possible? I want to do... I like... Don't think I can... Will ever continue with. No... I will... Go... On archery to dance? Weapons. Oh, very good. What does that mean? Very good. Well, I, I know it's like social, physical, intellectual, and mystical, but that doesn't stand which mood with them. Like, you see here, social is up, but it's only conversation. Well, Demonet is minus one. And then I don't. Well, actually, a mood presents. But I don't know how to get it. So I kiss. Well, I will cut. It will do weapons now, and then I will entreat. And then I will history. No, but then I will go on Royal Demoner, and then I will get my crystal, and then I will get Lumen. But for now, it is over, my friends. I thank you all for. Well, I thank you all for watching. Uh, rating will be, will be much appreciated. Leave a comment in the comment section, obviously. And yes, we will see us next time. Until then, bye.